Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Raghavan Mishra and in this video we will drag and drop a web element using Actions API which is going to be very uh, simple and straightforward. So let's have a quick look what we are going to do or automate here. So we will actually you know perform one drag and we will drop this element over here. Okay. So jQuery UI.com is going to be my site for this demonstration so let's go ahead and create a class in eclipse so drag and drop test and let me copy the driver initialization code from my existing class okay and i'm going to change the name of the site and which is going to be jquery ui okay and then we have to look for these elements okay so let me refresh this site and what we will do now we will actually store the xpath of these uh element okay so let's see how that can be done so we will actually get the x path in drag and uh, then driver find dot maybe by dot x path so let's go ahead and uh, inspect these these elements like how that can be done so we have selectors hub or you can simply you know uh, copy the xpath from the adept uh, tools so if i have selector hub so let me actually make use of this plugin and i will get the xpath like this okay so mind you like whenever you or your element is inside some uh, iframe right then it will actually tell you that okay uh, your element is found inside iframe in the dome so you have to actually switch to that iframe in order to get this or inspect or you know trace it or uh, in order to click on this element so just before this we have to switch to that element so i'll, I'll do that but let me just store this element inside this and i will import web element and yeah so uh, we have to switch to that iframe so how we can switch we can call switch to method and frame and then we can pass either id or <coughs> name of that so what is that name of that class is demo or frame okay so this is that or if it is if it doesn't give you the id or you know the name of that iframe then you can simply uh, you know switch to that frame using xpath also so let me try that and by dot xpath and this is that xpath of that okay so we should be able to switch to that and then we have stored one drag and element and where we have to drop so that would be my target location web event drop droppable or draggable right whatever was seen here so you, you can give the name like that okay so let me inspect this element also and this is that droppable drop here so i'll get the xpath of this or i can go with the uh, id also right id but anyway i'll go with the xpath xpath and yeah see i have stored the xpath of these two now i'll uh, create the object of actions api and pass the driver reference variable over here and i will import that and now using the object of 
actions class i can call drag and drop okay so this is going to be my source and this is going to be my destination then i can simply perform click on perform okay and i can put the weight also let's see if it is we are able to complete the scenario so let me run this see uh, it has dropped uh, is it has dragged and uh, drop the element on the target okay so now if you want to drag and drop based on the offset you can actually go ahead and uh, select x and y uh, axis and you can place the uh, you know a web element on the selected a uh, droppable item like on the target so that is what it is so i hope uh, you have liked the explanation and this is the code and uh, if you have liked the explanation and learned from this video please do subscribe and like uh, uh, this video and uh, share it with your friends and share the feedback in comment section so i'll, I'll see you in next video till then keep learning and thanks for watching